Example 1. To evaluate the iterator integral. So the integral I'm evaluating are integration of x squared y squared dy dx and integration of x squared y squared dx dy. Let's focus on the integration of x squared plus y squared dy dx. This integral consists of two parts. The inner integral is integration with respect to y, where y equal to 1 to x squared, and the outer integral is with respect to x. When you do the integral, you must do the inner integral first. The inner integral, as we have seen, is the integration with respect to y, x squared plus y squared, y from 1 to x squared. So we do the inner integral first. And this inner integral, the limit is from y equal to 1 to y equal x squared as we integrate with respect to y. When we do the integration, notice that there are also x involved. But as we are integrate with respect to y, treat x as constant. Ignore the limits first. Split the integral as x squared dy plus y squared dy. Now, let's recall a little bit of integration. We know that if a is a constant, fixed number, integrate a with respect to y, I will get a times y. We also know that integration of y power n with respect to y is y power n plus 1 over n plus 1 if n not equal to minus 1. Using these two results, then I know how to integrate the first term since x squared is a fixed number, consider a constant. Integrate x squared with respect to y, I use the first result I'll get x squared y. Then integrate y squared with respect to y, I use the second formula with n equal to 2 now. This will give me y power 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 plus 1. Our limit is y from 1 to x squared. After we integration of x squared by y squared with respect to y, x squared y plus y cubed over 3. Put the limit now. So when y equal to x squared inside, you get x squared, x squared plus x squared power 3 over 3. This is when y equal to x squared. Then you put y equal to 1 inside the expression. x squared times 1 and y equal to 1, you get 1 third. You get x power 4. Now, x power 2 raised to power 3 is x power 6. Then subtract x square, subtract 1 third. This is the inner integral. Let's move on the outer integral now. After we have completed the inner integral, the inner integral is x power 4 plus x power 6 minus x square minus 1 third. So now we have a usual integral now. The usual integral of integrating our x from 1 to 2. We we'll recall some integration formula that is integration of x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 over n plus 1 provided n is not equal to minus 1. And integration of constant a with respect to x a times x. Then, integration of x power 4 is x power 5 over 5. And integration of 1 third x power 6, you pull out the 1 third. And you get x power 7 over 7. Integration of x squared is x cubed over 3. 1 third is a constant, so integrate a constant, you get 1 third times x. This is by ignoring the limit. Now, we put the limit from 1 to 2, so put x equal to 2 inside, you get first term in the bracket, and put x equal to 1 inside, you get second term in the bracket, and you subtract them, I'll get 962 over 105 minus negative 44 over 105, which is 106 over 105. This is the integration of x squared by y squared dy dx 
well, x from 1 to 2, y from 1 to x squared. Now, let's consider another integral. This time, we're going to evaluate x squared by y squared integrate with respect to dx then dy, with y from 1 to 4, x from square root y to 2. Again, when you do the integration, you do the inner integral first, which is with respect to x. Then you do the outer integral. Notice the limit is for x x equal to the square root of y to x equal to 2. And then we recall how do we do this integral with respect to x. Since we integrate with respect to x, we treat y as constant. Therefore, y squared will be a constant now. And recall some integration formula. If a is a constant, integrate a with respect to x is a times x. Integrate x power n dx, x power n plus 1 over n plus 1. So when you ignore the limits, integration of x squared by y squared with respect to x is integration of x squared dx plus integration of y squared dx. Integration of x squared is x cubed over 3 by using the second formula. Integration of y squared, y squared is a constant now. So integrate a constant, a constant term x. So you get y squared term x. Put in the limit now. Limit of x from square root y to 2. So put x equal to 2 into x in the first term. So you get 2 power 3 over 3 plus 2 y squared. Then put x equal to square root y into x. Now you get square root y power 3 over 3 plus y squared times square root y. Simplifying it, 2 power 3 is 8, 8 over 3, plus 2y squared. Then, square root of y power 3 is y power 3 over 2. And y squared times square root of y is y power 5 over 2. This is the inner integral. Now, put this together to evaluate the outer integral. So, this here. Now, this is just like a normal integral. So, recall the integration formula. Integration of y power n dy is y power n plus 1 over n plus 1 provided n not equal to minus 1. If a is a constant, integration of a with respect to y is a times y. So, so making use of this, ignoring a limit, integration of 8 over 3 is 8 over 3y. Integration of 2y squared is 2y cubed over 3. Integration of 1 third y power 3 over 2 is 1 third y power 5 over 2 over integration of y power 5 over 2 is so y power 7 over 2 over 7 2 and simplify you get 8 over 3 y plus 2 y cubed over 3 minus 2 over 15 y power 5 over 2 minus 2 over 7 y power 7 over 2 so now I put in the limit from y equal to 1 to 4 so put y equal to 4 inside, you got the first term. And then you put y equal to 1 inside for the second term. And then evaluate. First term will give me 1, 3, 1, 2 over 1, 0, 5. Second term will give me 1, 0, 2 over 35, which you can simplify the second term by multiply by 3. Then 35 times 3, you get 1, 0, 5. You can subtract. And then, then you find the answer is 1006 over 105.